G'day there mates, my name is Mr. McGillicuddy and welcome back once again to my channel. Today, we'll be diving back into Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So, a previous episode, we were in Cosmo Canyon, we did the Chocobo Trials. It took me a while to do some of the third one. <laughs> but yeah, we made our way to Cosmo Canyon, where we found out Red's name was Nanaki, which we already knew. And his grandfather. Now we're going to attend a seminar on planetology after... Yeah. But to think that he would actually dismiss the idea of the weapons being pulled forth. Here we seek to gather the wisdom of the planet. But yeah, in his own words, maybe he just is stuck in the past of things. And maybe he just doesn't want to accept that the weapons are actually Awaken. I don't know. Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. Thank you. I didn't think we'll actually get into the storeroom straight away. But, um, thank you very much. But, uh, back on topic, on the weapons and all that, I was actually surprised when he just exploded like that. No. That must be his, uh, f parents. His father and his mother there. Honest. We never really saw much about female, um, we'll call them watches. Yeah, watches. But it looks like female watches have a lot of, a lot of mains. Well, at least that's what it looks like. But then again, we only saw these three. And, uh, Nanaki were red. And Terry's father's main, uh, darker main. So it could mean that males have, uh, have a darker Darker mane on them. What could mean that he only had it from that for his father? I don't know. Could be anything. I'm sorry if I do go on a rack like this, but this is what I love about games like this. You explore, you discover, you uncover. It's just. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Watch springs. Also, another thing about his uh, grandfather, I, I guess they really did actually decide to keep him more like that. A flooding orb because if you remember in the original game he was standing on something I think I thought he just was floating around on anything but apparently that's just the device he uses for an artifact that he had that he floats around on grinds on to get around oh well I did read that it was gonna be another weapon here is this all <laughs> of course, Keith. <laughs> but yeah, as soon as I'm able to move move about the world again, I'm heading back to Gongar because I get those two weapons for uh, Keith. Right this way. So for the elevator. So I was double checking to see if I was recording. But yeah. Mm 
Well, what's everyone's up to? I would be more than happy to answer. Okay, I think this is another another friendship moment. Just hold on to a text while I find the web page. And uh, three of my hard drive. Hard drive. Uh, okay, here we are. She would never forsake us. This village is lame. Did you know none of the material here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. This village is lame. Did you and don't get me started on the planet. Okay, so I thought there was gonna be a friendship moment, but I guess that's it later. Hey Barrett. Look at this. They're holding some festival today called the River of Lights, thinking it could be worth checking out. Maybe. Is that a reporter? I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Um, sure. Tell me. Is it better to spread the teachings of planetology to others? I ask you this. Who among you has looked in? So no, no this relationship for a resort is also a bit of a school here. <laughs> a seminar is in progress. I've um, always been on the bigger side, but I've never been into physical stuff. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, he... He used to say it was a waste, me spending all my time indoors. According to... What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh... Where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict, a war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. See you at the festival.
Okay, that was definitely something. But he, yeah, it looks like Eve is still a bit conflicted with everything that's going on. And plus the birds will start swapping their heads on. The River of Light ceremony will begin shortly. This night comes but once a year, bringing us closer to the planet. I've no doubt you'll feel her grace. Ah, the River of Lights. Once a year, we gather the souls that have drifted to our veil and return them to the planet whence they came. I heartily encourage you to join us in this ceremony. There is no seminar being held here at the moment. Can I help you? It's so great learning The River of Lights is one way we I, store gratitude. I'm not sure if we saw something like this in the original game. I then again we may have seen something almost like it, but honestly I don't know. I do remember a bit with the um weather with the big bonfire. But other than that, nothing. Cosmo Canyon Torch, the River of Lights. Uh, I think this is the bit where I... Yeah. Wow, so many tourists. Must be quite the festival. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet princes and repeats? No, we fight, for nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Well, it's just a matter of just sitting around doing nothing. At least that's what I think anyway. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kinda wanted everyone to get it though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. <laughs> wow, so many tourists. Must be quite the festival. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me and mom and dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. Hmm. Put your faith in our great mother. When you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Pretty much. Thank you. So if you get that, you get why I live every day like it's my last. I can't wait to see what they've got planned. Some say we're like grains of sand on the beach of the universe. Fatalist idiots. Spend my whole life trying to prove them wrong. But sitting here, looking up at the sky, you kind of help feeling pretty minuscule.
So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients. Or, to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never gonna be normal. That much was clear. Okay. <laughs> so my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. There! It is time! <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> Pretty sappy, huh? Every word, though. That was just beautiful. So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. Join me, would you? Sure. What did you all think of the River of Light? For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists through the veil as of late. 
when I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful I it was. I commend you for choosing to Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat. And it pleases me to know that the River of Lights possesses such All power. Alas, my hopes you. to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual this curiosity. So they have yet to be fulfilled. So People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation, yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. No, oh, it's not not a bad thing because like sometimes you need to get, get some sports out into the open now as much as we'd love to go on about the idea of them well then shall we proceed it's helping uh, the planet but i thought this door was sealed so that none may enter why yes and by my own hand no less however you've a trial to undertake i do if you wish to prove yourself and become a watcher of the veil that is i presume you are prepared yeah I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. Yep, sure, sure. Then off we go. But yeah, this... The message is definitely, it's not just good storytelling, but it also speaks a good message about our world too. We witness such things oh, around us, and yet we just ignore it. Deep as it will take us. It's a sad, but... Common truth. And I'm... That's one of them. Uh... Down we go. Has Nanaki told you anything about his parents yet? No. They were watchers, both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor. She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him. Why would I? Oh, oh. I see. No, no, okay, you're fucking not far now, much, much sooner. point onward only two may proceed he who shall undertake the trial and his observer who's gonna observe I'll do it oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that would render the trial meaningless but if not him ah you'll do nicely me him really at least pretend not to hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Ready. So we plan as red.
Well, I think I might as well level him up. So I definitely better give him some healing material. Oh wait, Bad's going to be joining us. So this is definitely different from the uh, original game where everyone went in. What the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> oh yeah. People be crazy when they make did this game. <laughs> Alright, Barrett. Oh, so there's a regeneration process. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's get some material equipped to the both of you. Uh, what's that road one? Road boy. Wait, did I forget to put one in while did I add a new one to it? Hmm. Make sure that you are well prepared. Glad as will ever be. Blessings of the planet upon you. Thank you. You gonna watch my back? Yeah. Burning holes in you right now. <laughs> Hold on. Where's that other? Sorry. No, I normally it's just play with just one ear by the outfit my dad, but this is a place of deep sorrow. A place where those who have been sealed away are left to mourn their fates. We got my turn. You just load yourself up into another. As if I weren't going to already. I can't take my turn. Watch and learn. Bring in the heat. Ned Hawks. Didn't think we'd see that name. Okay, that's Not by you. Get your ass out of here. Oh, End of the line. 
I will admit it. It's off. It's weird to hear um, Nanaki talking his uh, regular Nanaki. voice in combat. Look here. <sighs> Such walls should be well within your power to climb. Exploring this red. Approach glowing surfaces and use the left stick to scamper along walls. Stop moving and press circle will drop, but remember to watch where you land. Okay. That's pretty interesting. Your discomfort is only natural. A fierce battle was waged here. And even after 45 years, the scars remain fresh. What? You're saying the Gi managed to make it all the way up here? <laughs> okay, somebody fill me in. Who are the Gi? The tribe knows a very few people outside of the Vec. The rest you will learn in due time. Of that you can be certain. For now. Let us proceed. Uh, we know about them all too well. <clears throat> Come on. I'm going back across because I don't want to miss anything down here. Because I don't know if I'll be able to come back down, down here. Hmm. Yeah, there's a chest up there. Although my question is, how the heck did Barrett get across the other side here? So I just want to explore because there's a lot of this glow in the wall, so we have to be careful not to miss anything. Use that to get up there. Oh, let's do that. Oh dear. Damn if that doesn't look convenient. Hey, where'd you run off to? I'm still here, Barrett. Don't worry. Revival earrings.
Let's shake a leg. I guess that's where we need to go next, but I want to still explore around the cave a bit, a bit more. Because again, any hidden goodies in here? Plus, oh, got two legs here, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you also got one arm too. And you, and you don't complain about that. Oof. You don't know what watching yet, Red. But don't get too ahead of yourself. Oh, that's good amount of stuff. Is there anything up there? I don't know why I find out. Hey, where'd you run off to? Right just up here, Barrett. Missed make a potion. Very nice, very nice. Um, hey. let's have another look up just off the path there. Where did they come from? I thought we already took care of them. Or maybe I just ran past them. Either way, I was just he's just gonna move on. <laughs> well, what's that up there? Damn if that doesn't look convenient. Ah, what do you know? I'm still here, Barrett. Stop. Quentin. Pretty tired of Barrett's belly aching. Hey, where'd you run off to? Look at the belly aching, Barrett. I'm right here. This away real quick. Oh wait, it's there, son. Um... 
Um, so I was just checking to see if I was still recording. I'm getting paranoid. <laughs> But when you make one too many mistakes for your recording, then yeah, of course you'll get paranoid. <laughs> no, I didn't want it to. Let's get back up there and try and get that chest. Damn if that doesn't look convenient. I'm on talisman. Okay. This is really eerie. What the hell is that? That is a key. It's huge. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I would stress that you mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the key, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first try. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, will do. Seek the relic of our past. Carry it forth and bring the truth to light. Only then shall the path reveal itself unto you. Fetching artifacts. Press an old L2 and you an object to grab it with your mouth and release the button to drop it. Initiating combat will also cause you to automatically drop and hold item. Grab the key artifacts, scatter around the cavern, and ask, ask him to expect them. Isn't a key arrow. Its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. Ah. That is just. I don't think this is one, but let's bring it back anyway. Nay, that is not the relic we seek. This is it. I'm not 
sure, but I'm pleased to see that you're enjoying yourself. Okay, so I think we only need to keep my ears open for us when they talk. That just it's scary. Ah, a remnant of our struggles, of our desires. And that looks like a collar. Hold on. It does material up there. Apologies about that, folks, but uh, my dad just got home and I had to get it with the groceries in. Um, where was I? Yes, an armament of the veil. The carvings on its hilt should look familiar. Indeed, you'll find the very same markings on your own body. Oh! So this is the next weapon. Nice. Let's get this equipped to red. And that will give us Watch's Spirit. Increases the ATP gauge. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's material up here. Hold on a sec. Have to check the equipment. Because there's one more slot. Yep, that's definitely material, I think. Most would call that material, but it is far more than a magic stone. It is a crystallized collection of the planet's memories and knowledge. Healing free. Huh? Alright, let's go grab that other item that we found up there. So what exactly is this? It looks like a statue. Yeah, it is a miniature statue of the one standing guard there. The gun. Okay, but it wasn't picking the gas tank before. I've let it heal red. Let's, make it. Let's see. Exploring the element of weakness with magic will hitting them with healing spells will pressure them. They will not remain dead so long as the chief sorcerer is present. What? See. Now! 
Spectre you fought was a fallen key. Even in death, their lingering enmity manifests itself. They who wander in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. I think sensors will be useful. That was... I knew we were going to be facing them, but didn't expect them to be caught forth like. What's in the end, Red? There's a chest over there and some boxes. I'm not sure if I do have to actually bring the statue with me, but I'm gonna do so anyway, because you never know. Okay, so we'll go down this way. Chamber of Observation. Are these altars? Interesting, because my first thought was are we gonna make it out of this place alive? <laughs> its decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, then one could argue that everything has no reason. Hmm. Regardless, you know what you must do. Don't you? I think so. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Restore us to their rightful place. Okay then. Pick up the ruby gut cheese statue. We still got two more statues to find. You know why we're going down there? Still figured I'd look anyway. All right, so two more. Hello. The amber one. for fate and it gives the calm why do we get a feeling there's more to these g than than we initially fought in the original game i don't know
I will say this. War always leads to strife. Hey, where'd you run off to? As if we're going to buy ourselves for that time being. Phoenix down. Saw me carry down there. What a shoe material. Guess there's nothing else down here. statue I think that one may become the lie so give me two sacks this for a sec. Why do I feel that's going to be coming to life? So if I quit the moment I take that, the whole cave's gonna start coming down on us. Another statue in hand, and the last one to boot. intertwined with the Gi, for they first came to these lands many millennia ago. This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the Gi themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Naraki. But they were here for a while, not outside invaders. But this yet... cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the Gi. It was vital to them and their plans. Were the Gi to seize control of it, the canyon would be doomed. 
and the people. When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain Watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? Since time was of the essence, he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, it was teeming with Gi, ready to descend upon the village. Determined to protect the veil, he pounced from one foe to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on. If there was a Watcher who single-handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of them? <laughs> For now, you should focus on your own struggles with the Gi. Their malice grows more potent. Hmm. Maybe there was just a war like war 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 happy race, I don't know. Oh all that rancor. It's definitely good. Do not allow fear to take hold of your heart. You are your own master, Nanaki. You and no one else. Never forget that. Look to the crevasse and the gates beyond. Pass through all to complete your trial. But that's easier said than done. Not about that. Give me two sex, sorry. Need me to check something. Okay, sorry about that. Had to check. So there's two more weapons we can find in here. One for air, one for Barrett. Yeah, all that web swirl there. I believe that is called Rancor in the past, in past Final Fantasy games. Normally associated with the Tonberries. Let's take a look what they have in a sec. Bottle of ether. Ah, oh, this just leads us back up here. Right. Okay. Good enough. This place is definitely giving me stock soul vibes because this really looks like an ancient city you find underneath the ground. So how are we supposed to open this thing? Double chest. Oh, 
That's the one for Barrett. Let's get that bad puppy equipped and see what it does. Okay. I'm going to equip an extra material for him. Well, it seems Barrett is pretty much the tank here. Yeah? Staircase down here. Let's see where it leads. More enemies. Of course, more enemies. Hey, there's a chain down here. I hope they come in anyway. Pressing the wrong flipping button. I thought the chain would have pulled itself back in, but I guess not. I can take the shortcut up and skip most of the enemies or whatever, but I'll miss out on the goodies too. Go 
So there wouldn't have been any way to get down from up there. Not more of them. Better be ready. Hmm. So, so much MP left. Healing, please. Thank you. Definitely see all that hatred, anger, rage just swallowing in the mist here. Here we go. Many places, multiple places we can go. I only got two legs here, you know. I know. What's up there, I wonder? More enemies. A materia.
you howl. Gotcha. I just barely dodged that one. <laughs> Pile it on. Stand us, Ray. Bring your might to bear. That was rough. Yeah, that in your opinion. I thought this would have gone far up, but I guess not. Hey, Barrett. All right, let's see if I can latch this onto. I guess we'll just leave it there. Damn if that doesn't look convenient. Ugh, river of heat. This reminds me of those altars. A similarity, yes, but this sanctum is much more ancient and serves a rather different purpose. The altars we came upon before were built to imprison the key. This, however, was built to provide the Cetra with a means to commune with them. Really? Commune with them? Why would the Cetra do that? The Gi were the enemy. <laughs> Good and evil friend and foe. Dichotomy is not set in stone, as beautiful as the winds. But for now, Malachi, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing a path to the truth. Very well. So the Cetra communicated with the with the key. For what purpose? Maybe the key were their guardians or something? I don't know. Well, maybe they understood the key, etc. So many unanswered questions of the law. And again, this is what is good about the re re remakes here. It goes deeper into the game's lore. Something I do enjoy. That said, I'm not a law master, but I just do enjoy a good story behind things, you know? And again, maybe the Cetra and the Key had a mutual understanding. I don't know, it could be anything. this oh I think I know what we can use this for there we go more rank color in there finished with rebirth here i am definitely going to try and dive back into the original game as much as we're paying us to do so hmm.
<laughs> All right, I think there is weapon shooting nearby here. Hang on, let me bring that web page back up. Erif. Uh, Actually, this is a different area. No, wait, sorry. I meant to say was that we need to be somewhere else to find the uh, chest we're looking for. Yourself when it grabs you. Leave it to me. Please. Barrett, can you? Ah, okay, oh, jeez. Different healing here. Some bonus rounds in there. I got some of them. Just watch. Look out. Ah. Cool. I think I better say the magic and can use honest now. Don't count me out yet. mad
What in the world? There's so many. Where's a big bucket of water when you need it? How's Better deal with that quickly. Coming out, big guy. Here's the thing, I remembered that I needed to find uh to rip um watch his name the uh, last summon that we got, but I forgot to. Prayers 
and beg for forgiveness. Intense. Form evanescent, rancor everlasting. Well done. You've become quite the formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? <laughs> I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. Okay. Whoa. That was intense. That is creepy. The Watcher of the Veil fought valiantly and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait. Is that... Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. No one looks like his face is a behemoth. Did she know what had happened to him? Oh. Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to see her off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, their son. She was afraid, because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore, heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> but this is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Vale once more. But I'm a Watcher now. I gotta protect our home like he did. Listen to me, Mamaki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, you start to believe you've seen it all. But no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki, before, like me, 
You become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry. We will. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki, watcher of Cosmo Canyon, and son of Seto, protector of our veil. Vale. Hearken unto me. My name is Guy Natak. O oh, brave and noble Seto, I beseech you once more. Hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. The warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. of events indeed. I'll say. We'll back you up for two thousand. Uh, <laughs> Sephiroth. No. This one's free. What in the... Okay. I have got questions, loads of questions. Like, what the? That was suddenly something. Ugh. One moment, please, guys. Sorry again about that, folks. But my dad, but my dad's job. But anyway, as I was saying, this never happened in the original. Okay, I mean, sure, they added more bits and bobs here and there in the remake, but this. It's definitely something I did not see coming. Definitely... <clears throat> definitely something out of the left park there. So, with Hulk... Hulk to the... Lady of the Key, like... How is it he's still alive and... Actually, no, in a sense, he's already dead. Just a, a spectre by the looks. So, he flees for our help. What does he have in mind, and Does he... Is he on Sephiroth's side for something? I don't know, because I... I got a bad feeling about this. A really bad feeling about this. And as much as I'd like to look more into it, I'm trying to keep these videos much shorter. About... It. Close to about an hour and a half, but yeah. Anyway, we're gonna have to find out in the next episode. That's gonna have to do it for now. I hope you guys did enjoy this video because this game is definitely getting more, getting very interesting.
I'm loving this very much. Some of them short story changes I do like, some of them not so much, but you get what you can get. And besides, it does make things interesting. Anyway, I ranted on long enough. That's going to do it for me, people. I hope you did enjoy this video, and thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please sure remember to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and show support for the channel. I would very much appreciate that. And with that being said, I'm going to head off. That's for today. Just for the good other stuff. Thank you all again. Hope you have a wonderful and fantastic day. Shut the flip up, bud. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a good time. I don't need your opinions. Shut up. That's...